Oh, I love that car. Straight out of Narawahia, New Zealand, here's Mario. Hello, I'm Mario Vlogs, number 542, Valiant. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. Well, I had a car like this once, my 19, well, similar, I'm not sure of the exact year, but it was a 1972 Valiant Ranger, automatic, just like this. And I was reminded of this car the other day by Yankee, actually, when he was talking about health and fitness and things like that. And I was actually going to vlog on the, his analogy, which, uh, which, well, but I've sort of got sidetracked, I think, onto my car. But we were talking about analogies and things like that and how, you know, with your body, you, you know, like, you don't take a 1972 Valiant to the racetrack and run it full tit around and expect it to, um, you know, perform and stay in one piece. And I guess, as he was saying, that a similar sort of thing with a maybe a 65-year-old a human body, you don't sort of uh, push it to uh, run the 100-meter uh, sprint or do marathons or things like that but you just keep it nice and steady at a at a steady rate and it'll just keep ticking along well that was the analogy he's making and I thought well I can relate that to my uh, one of my some of my old cars and this one in particular stands out this 1972 uh, Valiant Ranger it was a great old car the, the, the doors on it were feet thick <laughs> it was huge and it was not quite in good condition as the same color uh, just had standard tires and what have you but it was uh yeah uh, we had great fun in that now we bought it I th where did we we bought it um when we had our fourth child because prior to that we'd had we could get three kids across the back and mum and dad in the front but when we got our fourth child we needed a car with a bench seat so that we could get another seat another child in the middle at the front so we could have three by three which would get the six kids in well no the four kids and the two things so um some friends of ours brother brother and sisters partner ran a um a car yard bob 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 Puru, I think his name was. And, um, yeah, Bob. And anyway, this car came in um, for a trade-in. And uh, we got it. And he, uh, they asked if we'd like it. We said, oh, yeah, we'll take it. It was $900. $900. It was a, I forget, it was a straight six Hemi two-barrel. I think I can't, I think, see the sign on it. And, uh, yeah, it'd take huge amounts of petrol, but we could all get in it. And it had dents and dings everywhere. I remember one day at the races where everyone was trying to get out through one gate and was a bit of, you know, manoeuvring. And uh, this guy tried to cut in front of me and I just wound down the window and said, well, you can try, but I think another dent in mine won't bother me. And so he let me go and off we went. But, oh, we had great times in this. And then... I actually found out that um, the car used to belong to a guy I worked with, and he was a huge man. He was 20 plus stones easy, you know, like uh, that would what would be that 280, 300 pounds plus. He was he was huge, and he used to own the car before us. So um, I always reckon the driver's seat was a little bit. Um, hard to adjust, but uh, yeah, the Daryl, I remember Big big Daryl used to own it, and uh, yeah, so I was had a great, we had a great lot of fun in that, and my wife, whenever she took uh, kids on the, uh, it took the car for school trips for kids to get in, they all wanted to ride in this big valiant thing, it was a beast, it was a beast, 
But I really loved that car. It could take away from... It had a Borg Warner transmission, I remember. I don't know why. But uh, at the traffic lights, you just put your foot down and um, off it went. And you'd, you'd be, you know, across the other side of the traffic lights before everyone had left. It was, uh, yeah, it took off really well. But stopping it was a bit of a mission. You had to sort of, um, on a real bad situation, you had to put your foot, put your foot on the ha on the on the brake and hold on to the steering wheel and pull back so that you can get it to stop in time. It, it, it took a while to get its momentum up, but once she was going, whoa, it was hard to stop. But, oh, it was a great car. We had to get rid of it because it just got um, too rusty. They wouldn't give it a warrant of fitness, but. Yeah, I would have, otherwise I'd probably still have it. <laughs> a great car, the Chrysler Valiant Ranger. Awesome car. So, uh, yeah, really enjoy, uh, really had fun with that car. And as for Yankee's analogy, yeah, well, I'm, I'm sort of taking it um, like, like the Valiant on my uh, exercise and just do nice, steady exercise, get it up to a nice warm temperature and keep it there for a little while but don't try and uh, take it to the racetrack and that sort of thing so um yeah so that was um all all all, all uh the yankees fault there that uh we came up with that but um, fond memories of my valiant or our valiant family valiant and so now to today's diary now I forgot to take my, my, my phone with me on a couple of little expeditions out to the lawn there, but I did get the shed area mowed and the, the two back bits done. So I've got three done, and I have to say, they're looking pretty good, actually. The lawns have been, uh, yeah, they look, look almost billiard table-like at this point. But, uh, yeah, that'll only last a few days. So only 866 steps. I'm pretty sure it was more than that. But um, as I say, I didn't have it for two of the bits of lawn I mowed, the back one and two. I keep forgetting it. So that was good. 5.42, the Valiant. And, uh, oh, we've got movie in there. No, I'm going to have a music, uh, a music, I think it's a music clue. Yes, I'll type in music there. Uh, caps lock, yeah, music. music clue. So that's a uh, music clue there. 177 on the where, what, who, and it's gone. It was a, I, th I thought it didn't, I thought it would be a pretty hard one. It was a photo of a, um, a wastewater treatment plant in Poland. <laughs> so one, I thought people would have a bit of trouble identifying it, and two, then trying to find one in Poland, but no, they got it within about 15 minutes. So either it was very simple or the guy's uh, skills are, are coming up um you know, really incredibly improving and finding these things. So it's seldom I go to a hint, which um, mostly they get them first off. So uh, that's all good. Now, uh, no shout out, no other videos. Um, did no WinTech work today. M much as I tried, I was sort of wanted to get into some marking and stuff like that. So that's got to be done. So that's getting a bit desperate there. I mean, I better get in and get some of that done tomorrow. Although I've got to pop in and see some students around three o'clock tomorrow. So uh, yep, we'll we'll have to uh, see how we go on that and get some of that all all sorted. And uh, I might actually just do a little get my classes prepped for tomorrow anyway, and get that all sorted, and then we'll uh, see how we go from there. So um, yep. That's, that's pretty much it. So well, let's go and have a look at today's challenge. And it's a little uh, musical one here. And we have to guess what this uh, song is. And uh, perhaps the people that made it famous. So this is just a group of guys that is um, playing it. Bit of a classic uh, song uh, from uh, a movie. Yes, it's a movie about.
that should be enough for that one. So we'll move on to um, yesterday's one. Now, yesterday's one was a segment from a movie. I'm playing a bit more of the clip here. I actually clipped it down a little bit yesterday, but I inadvertently deleted that little um, changed clip. So um, this one here is um, an extract from the movie Tombstone. And what I asked was who the uh, guy with the, the cup was. You'll see see him there just next to the lady. Um, well, the lady's big nose, Kate. And um, Wyatt Earp there sitting at the table. Um, Johnny Ringo there, I think, with the hat on. And um, uh, Curly Bill, I think, is the... Um, I think that's Curly Bill um, in the red shirt. But I'm not uh, I'm in my prime. 100% sure, but yeah, I asked who this guy uh, here was, and of course it's Val Kilmer, Val Kilmer, and he's playing well Doc Holliday. Johnny Ringo. Doc Holliday yeah, is a is a dentist, but well, was a dentist in his, in real life. These are all real done? life characters, and. Um, John, uh, as I say, uh, Doc Holliday was a, a dentist, which related back to the topic, of course, because my wife, um, my lovely wife, had a tooth extracted and uh, was a bit wordless there. And, um, she's um, she's back on for now, talking um, reasonably well, so um, we're all good. So it was this little... Uh, Thing here now they started off with the um, with a bit of a Latin exchange there. R.J. Quadrada, Argus, of course, um, was the um, is the Latin um, thing that my daughter's uh, school had. <laughs> Interestingly enough, I don't think they um, would have um, purloined it from a uh, Western movie um, that comes in before that, of course. Mr. Ringo was an educated man. That. Um, Oh, I really hate him. Watch it, Johnny. I hear he's real fast. <laughs> and this is the bit that I showed yesterday. And of course, we've given the answer. But I, I love this bit, so I'll watch it again. So that's a great scene from a great movie, one of my favourite westerns, I have to say, Tombstone. So, um, well, that's it for today. Thanks, everybody, for liking and subscribing. Um, put your comments uh, below the video. More than welcome. I try to respond to every comment, and uh, I try to get round to uh, the channels of all those people that comment and support um, my vlog. Thank you very much. All good. Cheers. We'll see you again tomorrow. Smash that like button.